office holiday party here at WHAS, right? Doesn't anybody, especially this time of year, but haven't we all heard about those holiday parties where everything goes wrong? Well, joining us right now, this is like timed perfectly, <laughs> is Mark Lampkin. And I have a feeling he's had an experience with an office party or two, but actually, get this, he's here today to warn about the bad behaviors to avoid. Learn from my mistakes. And I've been in the right. 20s, I may have had an off office party or two. Right. But now I'm wiser and hey, I'm a little bit older. But you're learning. You did it in your 20s, exactly not in right. your 30s or your 40s, where you should well, know better by then, right? 40s and 50s, I've learned. Right. And I feel like, you know, the reason we want to talk about this is because people are really back in this full swing, especially this holiday season with holiday parties and everything. And we've all had that office party where people are like, people are meeting out at Top Golf or you're meeting at That's places. Right out of here and and so I think automatically you want to drink too much that's what happens at these parties listen I, I called two different CEOs on my way down here mm -hmm. and to see if their ideas were the same as yeah. mine and I said what are the biggest mistakes and obviously number one is drinking too much yeah. and hey not drinking too much at the Christmas party means not drinking too much before the Christmas party. Right, right. Right, because if you're drunk Donnie on your third drink and you think you're the best dancer at the party, <laughs> trust me, you're not. This and is not you your don't want to be moment. that guy. Yeah. So that's the number one. Three CEOs this morning. Yeah. The number one thing is people drinking too much and not respecting the office. You know, how about try not drinking at all at the holiday party, yeah, right? Go in, free. just keep it, you know, yeah, if super you one glass business of wine, like that. Keep that Keep that business sure. tone. You're not at a non-social party. All right. So the other thing, let's talk about dress. What is, do you think, the appropriate dress for something? You know, like you look perfect You're for... You're about to say kids these days. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I know you were. You look perfect yeah. for a Christmas party. Yeah. Um, I can throw a silly jacket on. And this is sad to say, but men do have it easier than women. Yeah. We can throw on a holiday tire jacket and mm -hmm. be there. Um, the new generation, look, half of them look like they're clubbing, right, right? right? You're not going out to a bar, right? I think the sweats and the joggers or things that are just too revealing, obviously, is, is just too much. And I'm going to say dress to impress, but I'm going to say dress for success. Yeah. So dress to impress when you're going out to a club, but dress for success. Uh, and I hate to say it, but especially from females got it tougher when it comes to that. Well, I think, too, I want to go into something like that, thinking that my boss would trust me on a work trip. That's exactly that if right. If I would go out and represent the company, that I would be behaving like pulled together. And believe right? it or not, even and at dressed. your Christmas party, yeah. you are representing that company and mm. your coworkers are going to judge what you're wearing. I know. Hate it or not. I, know. I mean, love it or not, that's what's going to happen. All right. We're kind of like a polarized country right now. And I feel like religion comes up. Well, a lot of things come yep. up a lot, right? Uh, but, you know, religion and politics. Sammy Kershaw. Stay away from Sammy Kershaw, politics, religion, and her. Nobody wants to know your politics. Nope. Nobody wants to talk about your religion. No. And nobody wants to hear you spill your beer over your ex, <laughs> right? right? Divorced or not, it doesn't matter. And it's okay to say Merry Christmas. It's okay to say Happy Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. It's okay to wish someone your holiday beliefs, but you're not there to argue and you respect their beliefs. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be ultra conservative, if you're brand new to the company, always safe just to go with happy holidays and it doesn't diminish your beliefs but in five minutes or a Christmas party you're not going to change anybody's politics no. you're not going to change anybody's yeah. religion so take We're the safe side. We're not there to do that and you know what else is like a good rule this is not a Facebook forum <laughs> it, it <laughs> is real life real life talking to people right and I, listen <laughs> I have made the mistake on Facebook not at a holiday party but this would this could be the case mm -hmm. of used to share a political belief or two and I learned the hard way. I lost a, a, a nice account right. over this and yeah. I really did learn and it slapped me right in the face of knowing you're not going to change someone's views. It's okay to listen, but you mm -hmm. don't have to retort to everything someone right. does. You don't have to go down to that level and I made that mistake and it cost me. I'll raise you on that. We don't need to change. We need to also respect other people's Absolutely. views. Absolutely, especially nowadays. I mean, we should have done it all along, right on. but with fake book out there, yeah. we, we really need to do that. All right, finally, mistletoe. Dad told me a long time right. ago, don't don't date your honey where you make your money. Nothing good comes of it, especially if you're married. So I'm telling you right now, office romances don't work. And after that third drink, it's back to drinking too much where inhibitions go down. We've worked together. We're next office, and I right. misperceive you flirting, and we're off to the side, and I give you and an inappropriate suddenly, grab or hug. And suddenly we're bachelor in paradise hanging out at the holiday yeah, party. Yeah, and if you don't want that advance, guess what? You Nowadays you get fired. And, and, as and, you should. It, and literally, <laughs> it cost people their jobs yeah. last year. I know two people last year that lost their jobs because of inappropriate mm -hmm. behavior with coworkers. This is a serious thing nowadays, especially. Yeah. All good advice. Yeah. Right? So keep it in check. I know you have a holiday party to go to later today, kind of a, a meet and I need to have thing. a drink today. Well, that's. <laughs>
because it's 9.15. I'm very proud of you. All right, stay with us. You're coming up in another segment uh, as well. But if you're interested in getting some more information and scheduling your first visit with Mark Lampkin, head over to LampkinWealth.com or give him a call at 690-6764.